triangle, escaping the triangle. Uh, I'll just show you something, something between the beginning and the middle. And it's, uh, it's very easy. It's uh, something I discovered about two, two and a half years ago. How about that? A black belt still learning. I, uh, um, my whole jujitsu game has been uh, very much influenced by this man. That's the guy who started it all for me. Uh, go ahead and pan the camera over. Uh, to take a look at the, uh, <laughs> this is the man that started it all back in uh, 1981. Um, I was uh, 6'2 and about 180, 185. So uh, take about 55 pounds off of my frame. And uh, I was pretty thin. And I walked in to... Uh, he and his brother sparring, Wing Chung. And, um, so I was here off and on for, well not here, but I was training with him off and on for about four years. But uh, I, uh, I always remembered a lot of things that, that he taught me. And uh, probably one of the things that stands out most is efficiency. And this especially came true once I started to get about 35, 36, 37 years old. Uh, you got to be more efficient. If you still, if you try and do the speed, power, and explosiveness game with somebody who's almost half your age, unless you got the time to commit uh, a couple hours to the road every day and two or three more hours to the gym and swimming, your endurance is going to go down. So you got to be more efficient. And what contains, what envelops efficiency is effectiveness. We all want to be effective, but you got to face facts that sooner or later you're going to get older. Guys, sooner or later you're going to grow a small little Michelin uh, man a good year around your belly because uh, you're going to be busy with life. And uh, so uh, I've always striven for efficiency, and to this day I still strive for efficiency, uh, thanks to him. And uh, so, um, in goofing around with my students, I discovered that if I position my head, my arms, and my body in such a way, there's no way for them to even finish. So, when they start to put the leg over for the triangle, they can, it could be at the beginning, it could be at the middle, or it can even be right at the end. Both hands go on the ground, you walk up, and put your head above their head. Any weight on you? Why'd you want to cross your ankles? Because my <laughs> calf cramped up. <laughs> so again, here, hand goes here, and I go up, and then I drop my hips down. Uh, your calf still cramping? Yeah. Okay. Can I get somebody else? Uh, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, it's gonna. Yes. Same thing, just goes over top. And now you put your hand here, you walk up, and if you keep your head below their head, squeeze please. You're gonna tap, keep squeezing. You need to put your head above their head like this. Then you drive your hips down and your head goes up. Voila. Again please. With your head down here, squeeze, please. With your head down here, your tap. Squeeze, squeeze. You come up, head equal to the head, head above the head, and then drive your hips down and your head up. on the back of their neck. This is what I loosely call old man's jiu-jitsu. So, very efficient, but very effective. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> 